In today's video, I'm going to show you how to share videos from your Mac to your iPhone. The first thing we need to do is to enable the AirDrop functionality in both our Mac and our iPhone. To do this on our iPhone, the first thing we need to do is to go into the settings application. And from here, you want to scroll down and you want to find general and you want to click into that. From here, you want to find where it says AirDrop and you want to click into that. And at the very top, we want to make sure that AirDrop is on contacts only or it's on everyone. In this case, I'm going to choose contacts only. Once we've done this, we can go back to the home screen. Now we just need to enable the AirDrop functionality on our Mac. To do that, we need to go to the Apple logo in the top left, and then you want to click on System Settings. Once we are in the System Settings, you want to click on General in the left-hand side menu. And from here, you want to find where it says AirDrop and Handoff, and you want to click into that. Now you want to do the same thing, so where it says AirDrop, you want to click on the drop-down menu, and you want to make sure this is on Contacts Only or Everyone. In this case, I'm going to choose Contacts Only. Once we've done this, we can exit out of these system settings and we are ready to start sharing videos from our Mac to our iPhone. So as we can see, I have my example video here that I want to share with my iPhone. So to do this, you want to right click on the video file and then you want to choose share in the context menu. The share menu should appear and it will look like this. And you want to choose your iPhone from the menu here. However, if you don't see it, you want to click on the airdrop option and then the airdrop menu will appear with all of your nearby devices and as you can see my iPhone has appeared. So you want to click on that and that's going to immediately start sending the video to my iPhone. So if we go to the iPhone, as you can see it's now been sent and it's immediately opened the video file in my photos library. However, if it is another file type, such as a PDF, it will automatically open in the files application. So now we have our video on our iPhone, we can start using it just as we normally would. So if this video is helpful please leave a like and if you have any questions or comments you can leave them below.